So today I'm gonna do some quick unboxings, uh, Hermes Louis Vuitton and sharing something that um, some pieces of jewelry that uh, was sponsored. Some unboxings here and look at the beautiful ocean. Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jen and my channel is all about uh, fashion, lifestyle and beauty and today I'm in a very nice uh, hotel room. Um, this is for work so I just wanted to take some time to quickly um, do an unboxing and I'll show you some clips of the room. I have a very nice ocean view as well with a balcony. So let's get started guys. So um, I'm already wearing actually the set I want to talk about. So I got this um, eternity ring. This is not real diamond. This is moissanite, a kind of crystal that looks a lot like diamond and just a little bit less hard than a diamond. So I've been wearing this set, um, the ring and the um, earrings as you can see here just simple hoop ones huggers on the ears uh, they're also made of moissana i think they are very classic look and the quality is really good so the company is actually called read your heart so the prices of these items are also pretty good about 150 us dollars uh, for the ring that i picked and also the earrings and plus i have this um uh ruby necklace as well that's also surrounded with moissanite stones that kind of look like diamonds and very pretty packaging love the uh, blue that looks a bit like the darker version of tiffany blue so you can find the website which i will list down below and full disclosure they were given to me for free and i've been testing them out to make sure that i like them before i um made a video so this is also a classic uh ruby a uh, necklace that will go with a lot of things so i'm wearing like a turtle a high neck um, blouse today but this is how it would look i think it's really pretty as well and i do have a 10 percent discount code for my subby so i will link it down below and thanks a lot to read your heart i think that it is also a 18k white gold plated so it will not tarnish uh, like the other regular costume jewelry you might get so i'm really happy with the pieces that I got from Read Your Heart. Okay, next let's go into the smaller box which is Louis Vuitton as you can see here. Okay, so this is the Louis Vuitton box and this is the receipt folder. So from the size of the box, you probably can guess what I got and <laughs> it's in the title. I got myself a pair of earrings from their costume jewelry collection and this is the little pouch that comes in and ta-da, I got the um, classic LV logo earrings in the um, diamond tape and this is the yellow gold tone um, as some of you may know my last name does start with a V so I've always wanted to get some um, Louis Vuitton earrings because from far it does look just like a V I've already actually worn them once so this is not a true unboxing per se but I really like how they look on and um, yeah, well, my experience with Louis Vuitton costume jewelry is that it's quite high quality, so uh, no problem when it comes to tarnishing, etc. Uh, in my opinion, at least, and um, and my experience. So I really wanted a pair of earrings that would go with a lot of things, uh, with the V and also something a little bit different from um, the CC that you know the Chanel CC earrings that are so popular. So I think they are quite pretty, and I mean it's just a plain. LV um, logo anyway, the LV initials. So really liking them. What do you guys think? The pricing is also very reasonable. It's about 2,500 uh, ringgit. So a bit cheaper than Chanel, I would say. But I think Louis Vuitton prices are also going up uh, quite a bit um, recently, as you probably can. You probably know if you have been, if you have been shopping. 
So that's my Louis Vuitton one. Really like it. I'll do a review later of my Louis Vuitton collection for costume jewelry because I think they are getting quite popular and it is a nice alternative from um, Chanel and the like. So the third. Uh, the other thing is the Hermes um, box here. You can see, then you can guess what it is. It is a pair of shoes. I just went in to talk to my essay. You know, as some of you may know, I am waiting for my next uh, quarter bag. And I just wanted to buy something. I mean, my essay, who's really sweet, already told me that I don't need to uh, continue buying anymore But uh, before my next bag. But I really wanted something. And this is a pair of a very classic pair I would say so I already untied the, the bow earlier because I wanted to do a video earlier but it just didn't look that great so I'm redoing it so it ta -da, it's a pair of Oasis sandals in the classic gold color at Hermes and it has the um, reverse stitching in white so uh, what I like about Hermes shoes is that I think they are very high quality I wear them a lot. They are very, very practical for pre-spending because it's something that you really would use. And I like the contrast stitching with the um, uh, that usually comes with the gold. And this is not Epsom. This is Lisse leather, so it's a bit softer. I wear a size 39. In my opinion, I think Orens are quite true to size. Uh, sorry, uh, Oasis. I actually wore my Orens um, today and as you can see, I've worn this, these, this pair a lot. You can see that, you know, the, the, the part, the front part is actually like really like curving out already because I wear these a lot. So they are very, very, very practical uh, for me. So obviously Oasis looks exactly the same. The Orens just that the Oasis has a little bit of a block heel about two inches so they're actually very very comfortable so let me try them on for you to have a look. I thought this would be a good place to try them on so this is how the Oran sandals look very very um chic I think and very comfortable you know the the uh, heel is only two inch so I think this is what makes them very comfortable and also the front part is okay it doesn't uh, like kind of hurt your toes or anything like the toe box area i mean sorry this part i would say this part um so i'll have to like wear them more to be able to really report if they are that comfortable but i think i really like them they go with a lot of stuff and love the gold color recently i like neutrals a lot so maybe it's some kind of evolution so yeah love them surprisingly it also does go well with kind of like formal attire so this is traditional attire um malaysia malay costume and the earrings again just wanted to show you i think this is better lighting perhaps very pretty i think the lv earrings that i got i'm very happy that i got these um and the um price is actually quite okay as well so this is my vintage omega watch um, Breville and it has a um, it's 18k gold plated it's not solid gold and I think it's very very well maintained for a vintage watch this is I think like maybe 30 a 30 year old watch um, or 40 I forgot but uh, it has a white face and uh, I love the chain design which was what attracted me to in the first place the rope design I think it's something a little bit different from my um, other watches which are mostly from Hermes and leather strap so that's why I got it let me know what you think I love the little cute box as well Omega sign And finally guys, so I think I just also wanted to talk about uh, what I think would be the best items to pre-spend. So I've talked about this before. I think uh, shoes definitely on the top of my list. Watches 
uh, and also jewelry to be honest would get you in better stead so uh, hopefully i get to come back soon with my next quarterback i'm not sure if gonna, I've, i'm gonna buy anything else before that uh, i did buy a vintage omega watch that i wanted to share with you guys i even brought the box but i forgot to bring the watch so i'll need to save that for another video another time uh, and finally my thoughts on whether i will continue playing this game with hermes i would say yes because at least i do get the stuff that i buy uh, for that i pre-spend on like you know the shoes the jewelry etc uh would i still buy them if they wouldn't go towards pre-spend um maybe not all of them but the shoes definitely i think they are still very reasonable like my uh, oasis the one that i just got is like 3500 ringgit it's definitely cheaper than a lot of chanel slippers and lv shoes as well uh, of course this is a very simple design you might argue but i think it's very classic hermes very chic and um not uh, in your face at all but to be honest i don't even know what quiet luxury is anymore because everybody is like getting into hermes right so um yeah i don't know i guess the more of the story is you would just need to buy what you like rather than uh, care about what other people say so yeah i would really continue this pre-spend and i think it's also because i found myself a good essay who's very honest and you know doesn't just want me to keep spending with like no end in sight so i know it's a bit of a game but you know willing player i guess i am one you know kind of a willing buyer willing seller concept so I know some um, YouTubers think that it's a waste of time or it's kind of like a lottery. So I think it's fine if you're not interested, you can just not play it and just uh, pay a few hundred percent premium to resellers, which uh, I don't really want to as yet. I don't know if I'll change my mind in a few years. Who knows? But yeah so if you haven't already please do follow me on instagram uh please give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment i really love hearing from you guys and let me know what's on your wish list and what you have uh bought recently so uh thanks for watching and i will see you really soon bye